Hey guys, Krista here from Dave and Krista, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do some really fun animations in your Show It website. So our new fall templates come out really soon, and we've been having a lot of fun adding some animations to really make scrolling through sites exciting and engaging. So let me show you the first one that I'm gonna teach you how to create. This one's probably my favorite. So in our St. Vincent design, as you scroll down, we have these different items that come up and stack and make this beautiful typographic treatment. And then once you scroll again, this comes up over top of everything else and the original design disappears. So um, I think it's a really fun, engaging element that could be done on any site. So let me show you how to make this. I am gonna come over to my Show It account and I'm gonna start by grabbing the typography. So let's grab this text and then let's add it to a blank page just so that we're starting from scratch and you can see exactly how I do this. So I'm gonna come up here to the top and I'm gonna add this one. I'm just gonna copy a few of these for the interest of saving you guys some time so that my video is not too long. It could also be helpful to take this and design it all on one canvas at first so that we can then break it up. So. Let's grab one more element and we'll just do three. We won't do all of them just so that it's not too long. So I'm gonna copy this one, come down to my new page and I'm gonna paste it in here and we're gonna move it right there. So next thing I'm gonna do is shorten this canvas and let's check it on mobile as well. So it looks like everything is overlapping on mobile. So on mobile, I'm gonna move it all. These guys down below Sweet Tea just make sure everything is lined up correctly the way that I would like it to appear. And then I'm gonna move the last two down on mobile so that it looks more like that. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna change this canvas to be sticky and we're gonna set it to be top on scroll. And I'm gonna give this a stacking order of two. We might need to fiddle with that just depending on how the rest of our layers and our template are set up, but I'll talk more through that in a minute. So I'm going to duplicate this canvas again, and then I'm gonna remove Sweet Tea, and then I'm gonna duplicate it one more time, and I'm gonna remove Seaside from this one and Champagne from that one, and then I'm gonna remove Champagne and the Seaside from that one. And let's do a quick preview and see how things are working so far. So if we look as we scroll, right now they're coming up and they're all going over each other. And so we can change that by fiddling with the offset. So let's try making this offset 200. I'm gonna hit enter and we're gonna see what that does. So if we come up here, okay. We might need to just like play with that a little bit to get it to work. So let's go back to my original template and we can kind of cheat and see what we did for this one. So this one is a canvas of nine, let's say 960 to make it easy and no offset. This one has a canvas height of 400 and 281, and then this one is 400 and 400. So we'll come down here to our new page and we'll give this one an offset of 900. Over here, we're gonna move this guy up and I think our height was about 400 and then our offset was 200. And this one I think was 400 and 400. So we'll move that one down. So 400 and 400. And now let's preview it again and see how that is working. So if we come in here, as we scroll, okay, we're getting better. I think that this guy needs to come down a little bit. So what happens if we make this 240? So we'll preview it. All right, getting better. Let's try 280. And preview it again. Oh, there we go. Okay, so getting better. And then we just need to make the seaside come down a little bit more. So over on the seaside, let's make this 450 and let's hit preview. So I'll preview this. Uh, yeah, I think that's looking good. We could change it a little bit. It could be like 440 if I wanted to be super precise on this, but this is kind of the gist of how you create a canvas like this. And then the way that you get the other canvases to scroll above it is you just need to make sure that they have a higher stacking order. So this one, for example, has a stacking order of two. And let's come into this guy right here and we'll just make sure it has a higher stacking order. So 
13 is larger than two, which means it's gonna go above the canvas that has a two stacking order, and it'll look like the slides are kind of coming up and covering it up. So that is how you do that animation. Okay, so this is our Cordata design. It's one of my favorite templates, and I'm gonna to go to the service page because this is a good example of some of the scrolling effects that we have in this template. So in this template, we have quite a few effects where the image scrolls above the text and then covers it up. So let me pull up the template and I will show you how to make this. So in my template, this canvas is kind of gonna be a little bit similar to what we did in the other tutorial. So this canvas is gonna be set to be top on scroll. We're gonna give it a zero stacking order. We need, it'll have a height, which is kind of obvious. Um, but then the way that we get this canvas to go up and kind of cover it up evenly is that I added gradients. So there's a gradient right here that goes from transparent to white. This one goes from, uh, it's just white. And then this is a different image. And this canvas itself, let me see if I can click off of it, is just a normal canvas. So. If we're gonna recreate this, I'm gonna copy this and we'll just make a new blank page and I'm gonna paste it here and then I'm gonna make the canvas longer. And you can do this with any kind of elements or any types of canvas. It doesn't have to be like an image going over text. So I'm gonna set this to have a normal type, but we're gonna make this top on scroll and I'll leave that stacking order as zero. Then I'm going to add a blank canvas below it and I'm going to grab an image. So I'm going to select this image. It could also be a gallery like we have on that other portfolio page. And I'm going to add a rectangular shape next and we'll make this bigger and we're going to lock it to the edges of the screen and I'm going to move it below my image. And then instead of having a color, we're going to have a gradient. So if I wanted it to go to like a creamy tan color, I could start with that. And then I'm gonna add another shape below it. So I'm gonna copy and paste this shape and make it span to the edge of the canvas. And then I'm gonna move it below the image. And then instead of having a gradient, we're gonna make it a color. And then this canvas needs to have a higher stacking order than, than the first. So let's make that five just to start. And then let's preview this and see how it's scrolling. So if we come in here, it slowly scrolls over the text and kind of makes it disappear. Um, if we wanted to fade this out even more, let me see, transparent. We could probably make this a little bit bigger. So make that bigger, make this like a slower fade. So make this shorter, make this taller. Okay, so it's kind of working, but it looks like it's not doing a true fade. And I think that's because we need to fix our gradient. So on this gradient box, I'm gonna make this percentage zero. So we set this to be zero. And then the last thing that we need to do, which I forgot to do, is set this canvas to have no background color behind it. So right now the canvas has a white background. So we're gonna make this no background. So we'll make that zero. And then if we put these different boxes back where they belong, I think that when we preview it, it's gonna work perfectly. So yeah, that's a nice slow scroll over the image. And if you wanted the gradient to appear faster, we could change this to be shorter. So that would help that transition cover it up faster. So if we hit preview, it's gonna go like that and then turn into this color and then you could keep adding more content down below. You just wanna make sure that those canvases down below have a higher stacking order than these canvases in order to cover everything up. Okay, so if you love these templates that I just showed you and you don't wanna to have to make these for yourself, you can check them out in our shop starting October 23rd. And if you have any questions about animations or just working with Show It, just drop them in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure that you hit thumbs up and subscribe to get updates about future videos that we release. Thanks guys.